my goodness, yo, this is Maputo, Mozambique. <laughs> it's beautiful, right? I got the longest suspension bridge in Africa right in front of me. I mean, it's beautiful. Like, Africa is really rising. If you don't believe that places like this do exist in Africa, my brother, change your ways. That's why Africa to the world is here to stay. We are here to show you the positive image of Africa. But hey, today, I mean, I really want to stay away from this content. But it seems that Africans don't want me to stay away. Specifically, Africans in China. Yo, your boy is right here. And um, for the first time, I feel so proud to be African. Because I feel like the rules and regulations, I mean, the law is working in africa i mean for the first time i feel so proud to say arise oh compatriot nigeria's colobe to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith I mean, if you know the meaning of this national anthem, this is the Nigerian national anthem. To serve our fatherland with love and what? And strength. Oh my goodness. So when I see things like this, I feel like now, Africans, I mean, we are obeying the rules and regulations in Africa. This is how it's supposed to be because we cannot sit down fold our arms and allow foreigners to come and disrespect us in our homes i mean they disrespect us both home and away if you are diaspora african diaspora you cannot tell me that you've not been disrespected whilst living abroad what really happened you know i was busy filming videos yesterday because i can't wait to show you this beautiful city of maputo and then i saw so many people tagging me in a post and I had to go check it out. And when I saw the post, I was like, "Hey, China, Africa again. What really happened? Well, my friends and I have been asked to leave this Chinese establishment, a restaurant too, simply because we, we are black. <laughs> In Nigeria. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You have a restaurant on the continent and you are telling me that you cannot sell this food to the people living on the continent it doesn't make sense we've been disrespected for so long and I feel so happy I mean not so happy but I feel so proud that people in power are now using what the laws to protect its people because last month i did a video i said that i feel like when you talk about this issue africa is not ready to bring measures to control or bring measures to resolve this kind of issues that is happening in africa when you are living in a continent where the leaders or people in power don't care about its people people always try and take advantage of you so i'm so glad that the people in power are now defending the people i'm so glad that the people in power are now doing the right thing because this should be done long time ago the fccpc closed down the restaurant yesterday i mean less than 24 hours because the girl recorded the incident and the incident went viral and the CPC whatever came and then they closed down the restaurant I mean how cool is that if things like this happens next time they will learn sense because trust me you can never open a restaurant in China I mean even as a black man you cannot even open a restaurant with your own name you have to use a Chinese person's name if you don't know ask anybody as a foreigner you cannot even buy land not to talk of what buy a house in China without using a Chinese person's name but they come in here buy sell and yet 
they will tell you that we are not gonna sell it to our, your own people. Yo, I mean, I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm not gonna waste my energy on this video. This is what happened and I just felt like sharing with you. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. But hey, hold on, I'm gonna show you the beautiful streets of Maputo tomorrow. So boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And um, yeah, I'm out.